This video will show you how to take your existing 2D logo and create a 3D effect to give your logo depth and to help you stand out from the competition. This is a simple, easy method and that's what makes it so beautiful. It is so effective and so easy to do. Let's jump into Canva and I'll show you how. You can use any size document that you want for this depending on your needs. I'm going to be working in the preset for a logo template today, but any size is fine. So you're going to go over to Uploads and you are going to upload your logo preferably with a transparent background. If you're not sure how to do this, make sure you check out my videos in the link. I'll show you how to do that. If you need to do that, you go to background remover and that is a one-click solution for the premium version. So you've got your logo uploaded with your transparent background. Your next step is you are going to go over to duplicate or control C on Windows and then go over to edit and you are going to scroll down to Durotone and click on custom. This is where you get to choose your custom colors and you can adjust the shadows and the highlights accordingly. So all we're doing now is we're just going to get a nice light gray color and just find the color that you're happy with. We've now got a gray version of that. I'm going to now duplicate my gray version with a one click button. Then I'm going to edit, adjust, and I'm going to scroll down until I get to brightness where I'm going to go right down to minus 100 on the slider. And then the contrast, I'm going to pull right up to 100, which will leave me with a nice black image. Okay, you can see I now have three images. I've got my original logo image, I've got my gray version, and I've got my black version. All right, I've moved the black version out of the way. And using my original image, that is there and that is completely centered using those guides, the purple guides. Now I'm coming over to my gray image, and I'm going to make sure that that goes directly over the top. It's exactly over the top and then I'm going to use my arrow button on my keyboard and I'm going to move it to the left twice. Then I'm going to go over to position and I'm going to send it backward. Right, next step is to get the black logo and I'm going to put it directly over my original logo, over the blue one. And this time on my arrow keys on my keyboard, I am pressing it down twice, down, one, two. Right, and then position backward, great. You can see we've also got already got a nice little shadow coming up there. Right, now my top image is my blue image, so I'm going to shift that out of the way for now. I'm going to make sure that I get both the black and the gray selected. You'll see that I've got two lines selected. And then I'm going to group those. So the, sh the keyboard shortcut for that is Control G. So that is now grouped as one image. All right, now I'm going to go over to Duplicate or Control C on the keyboard, Control C. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to place that directly over the top and then I'm going to move it up one. So just make sure that it's selected. Then I'm going to press with my arrow keys on the keyboard up once and then right once. Okay, and now I'm going to keep repeating that process. So I'm going to make sure it's selected. It's not giving me the option to duplicate at the moment. So I'm going to use Control C for copy and then Control V on the keyboard place it directly over the topmost layer, up with your arrow, right with your arrow. And I'm going to now keep repeating this. Control C, Control V, over the top layer, up once, right once. Make sure it's selected. Control C, Control V, over the top, up once, right once. Make sure it's selected. Control C, Control V, over the top, up once, right once, make sure it's selected, Control C, Control V, up once, right once, and last time, make sure it's selected, Control C, Control V, up over the top, up once, right once. That's looking good. Right, now I'm going to zoom out of it. I'm going to go and collect my original image, bring it over the top, go to position, bring it to front, just make sure that it is exactly over the topmost image. And then we're going to make sure all of them are selected. And I'm going to go over to group or control G on your keyboard. There is a lovely 3D image. Getting some nice depth really makes the logo far more interesting than just your plain flat 2D image. Easy as pie. Once you've got your logo image, your final step is to go down to share download and you can increase the size here if you need to. You can do it with a transparent background if that is needed and then download with as a PNG file. That will go directly to your downloads ready to upload to your social media or your website.
looking good. I'm Gigi from Spotted Hut Design and we help new business owners create professional branding and graphics using Canva in just a couple of minutes. Now that you know how to do this 3D effect in Canva, you can level up your logo using a gold foil effect. Check out how to sparkle here.